Yale Brothers, episode 550. Everybody, my name's Chris, and I'm Roger. Is that right? Yes, I think so. I think I know who I am. Good, that's good. Maybe yeah, we're the Yale Brothers still. Yeah, we are still the Yale Brothers, and that was a song called "Be My Star." I can't believe you found it. What do you mean? I, I have a bunch of tapes, man. Obviously. <laughs> oh man, I don't even think I have that. That song is uh, a song about stalking. Apparently, isn't it? Roger well, wrote it. I wrote it back in the day. This was in the band Yale. When do you think that was? 1981? Yeah. 1980, 81 or something? Yeah, the same batch as Caprice, uh, Living in the Wasteland. Oh, yeah, all Watching that. her eyes. Yeah. That's crazy. I wrote it in one of the practice rooms at LACC in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and I had a huge crush on Tatum O'Neill at the time. She went to our school. Yes, yeah, she went to our school, Hollywood Professional, after we got out, after we left. Yeah. And I developed this crush on her, and also uh, my friend Mark Mulkeen had a crush on her, Oh, I too. thought you said you had a crush on Mark Mulkeen. Aw, love you, Mark. Uh, uh, but I th- have a crush on Mark Mulkeen. Me, too. Yeah. Um, but then I'm. Uh, it's just a song, like, oh, man, be my star tonight. Be my star. Yeah, that was... Uh, so it really is my trip stalking tribute to uh, Tatum O'Neill. Yeah, and I was trying to be all Stuart Copelandy. Oh, you, that sounded good. And Pascal's a little kind of punky, power poppy. Oh, that's some heavy, Paul. heavy less. Yeah, that, I mean, he was he was trying to add a, the rock element to it, I suppose. That um, sent me down memory lane, man. I remember writing that on a legal pad. Well, I remember dri- you guys in, in Mark's big old black Cadillac driving by uh, Tatum's apartment, kind of <laughs> check, waiting to see her, <laughs> a stalker, paparazzi. I don't know how if we were really stalking, man. What were Come you on. doing? We were just driving know, we were around fans. getting stoned? No, we were fans. Uh, yeah, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> 
I remember, you want them to be more than just fans. I remember I dropped an invitation to our first thing at the Blah Blah Cafe into a mailbox, sent it to her. I was going to debut the song, and I was sure she'd come listen to it. Uh, oh, that's funny. We have the live version. Maybe. No, I don't Maybe. think we do I, anymore. I remember hearing it live at one point, but that's really cool. I had a tape of a, all, the whole concert at the Blah Blah Cafe, but it's gone. I only have about four or five songs what, now. What do you mean it's gone? It's gone, man. How could it be gone? It disappeared. Hopefully I got something too, but I doubt it. You got something. You got, I thought that too, man. That's another. That's, that'll be another, the last song from that five song demo, which we'll put soon. Ooh, you got something. I remember that song. Of course I wrote it. Yeah. But this is a milestone, man. 50. This, this is awesome. It's uh, quite a milestone. But before we get into that, I want to talk about something I saw in your bathroom. But what kind of milestone? You don't have to talk about the milestone anymore. What What do you see in my bathroom, dude? I saw this little slogan on this little bottle. Oh, no. I knew he spotted it. It said, grave before shave. Yeah. It's beard oil. My friend Steve Halleck gave it to me. It's awesome. Oh, you guys both have a prodigious beard. So do you think it will be grave before shave? I doubt it. That's crazy. That's a hell of a mantra. Well, they're not going to, if I, if I die, they're, I'm not going to shave. So, I mean, if you <laughs> grave, before, what do you get shaved when they, when they put you in the coffin? Well, if you, if you stipulate in your will, uh, shave before grave, <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm not planning on being buried. Oh, is that me either, man? I'm going to live waste. forever. You are? Yeah. I'm going to turn into a tree. Why don't you get buried at sea? The Neptune Society? Yeah. I get seasick. Yeah, really. Can you imagine like bobbing up and down before you go down? Davy Jones locker. Yeah, little, yeah that's uh, wow. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, we've we've done 50 episodes. This Whoa. is it. We haven't done it. You may yet to lose this episode. Well, listen, man, I do the best I can. But I'll tell you, I didn't think we'd ever get this going. 50's good. We can quit now. And I don't want to quit now. I want to keep going. Okay. I want to keep going. But um. What have we learned about, about now? We've like we knock out an episode every week with a few exceptions. Keep, what have we learned? And we keep it. I mean, te- on the technical side, have you learned anything? No. You just hit hit record and do the best. And and I, I edit it and all. What have we learned? No, I just dump it into Logic and then do a little some edits. Do yeah, do a little EQ yeah. and a couple little edits, and uh, that's and, it. And then you send it to me, and I stick it into Libsyn. You do the notes, and then I put it in Libsyn at the end. Yeah, I, I do the notes, save it as a draft, send it back to you. And argue then, about titles. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not that much of an argument. Well, why don't we just call this Be My Star? Oh, that's cute. Okay. Star 50. Star, <laughs> what star was that? 50, star what? 78 or something. Oh, star 70, star 80. Star 80. I forgot what that was. Isn't about a Playboy like, person th- playboy or penthouse person star 80 i forgot she about dead. that i'm gonna look it up while we're i don't know that was a billboard on the sunset strip wasn't it i don't know man what the hell was that star 80 star 80 directed by bob fossey american biographical drama oh written and directed by bob fossey oh it's about jazz hands <laughs> Dorothy Stratton, remember she was murdered by her husband, Paul not, Snyder, yeah. Not really. Yeah, that's what, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Anything interesting you just found? Was it Mariel Hemingway? I think so, yes. I, I don't see the, the cast here. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, Mariel Hemingway, yeah. Eric Roberts was the douchey husband, I remember Oh, it. boy. Yeah. That's yeah. a long-ass time ago, about as long as Be My Star was. Yeah, pretty much, man. Bob that- Fosse wrote it. That's crazy. It's showtime. It's showtime, folks, as he downed some Benzedrine. Yep, clapped his hands and went skipping away into his choreographed world. Till, and then he had a heart attack. Oh, did he? God rest him. He didn't die from that first one. Um, uh-huh. uh, I he, don't know how he died. No, cause, because that, that was the movie. He had a heart attack in the movie. Yeah, he had a movie. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I, I remember that movie. But I mean, we what also. What movie was that called? Oh, All That Jazz? Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? I don't know. I think so. Maybe. I think so, but I don't know. 
You could turn that title into something for porn, but you have to change jazz to something else. (laughs) (laughs) We had some good conversations by ourselves and with a nice group of our friends. Yeah, it's too early for a retrospective, man. Yeah, a little kind of, yeah, 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 we did 50 episodes. You got 500 or 1,000, get back to me. Well, I'm just telling you, do a little recap. I I had fun talking about uh, growing up in Hollywood in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. That was fun, man. Did you enjoy that? Uh, There's more stories. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I mean, uh, do you? It, it was to me. It was magical, and we already talked about it, even it smelled different and yeah, all that. Exactly. But don't you think that even most times or sometimes we took it for granted? Sure, all the time. Living at the foot of the Hollywood Hills. No, no. When I think back, it was super cool. I knew it was happening when it was happening, but I thought it would always be cool. And I thought Dad would live forever too. Yeah, but right. My, you know what I mean? Yeah. Took a bunch of shit for granted. Remember the vantage point from that that place on Franklin? Like what place if, on Franklin. If, if we, our apartment. Yeah. If we open the the French doors, we could look right straight down to the back of the Chinese theater. Yeah, for sure. But then other views. That apartment's probably going for 4 grand now. I can't believe it. Beautiful two bedroom. Yeah, and we were kind of bitched about it because we thought it was old-fashioned and run down when Dad moved into it. Oh, but it was so cool. It's unbelievable. Noisy, though. So what? Like, right down to Hollywood Boulevard from the back, you know, the Chinese Theater, we could see from the our living room. Yeah, but all the all the, the uh, valet parking action in the garage from the Magic Castle behind it, right yeah. behind it, was noisy, man. We were used to it. Yeah, that's true. But from our bedroom, one of our bedroom windows, we could look east down that side stoner window of ours. Side stoner window. The, by my closet. Is that? Oh, that's where I used to hang out, open the window and smoke weed. And yeah, didn't you put like dra- uh, the drapes in front of you or something? Yeah, put them around me. That's like a, like some sort of robe. But that down there, you could look straight like east down Sunset in Hollywood. Sunset? You know, I mean, I could see the, the what I call the Motown building, 6255 from there, that big black building. Oh. If you looked down through that window, you could see east down that part. Yeah. So, am, am I hallucinating that you could see the Cinerama Dome? You gotta be tripping, man. No, but I know I could see the 6255 building, that big black building, first interstate building at the time. Ooh. That was kind of, but then we took it all for granted, all those little tableaus we took in. Yeah, then you moved out. Because, yeah, because then I got the job at Motown, and then, yes. It, Quit the hotel, moved out, and because of it, I got kicked out, too, of that, that apartment. But you could still live, you lived downstairs in that dreary little place. They gave me a little uh, studio, it was like a cave, it was dark. I'm sorry. That's okay, I liked it in that little cave, it, but it was no sunlight. Like no. Ours was on top of the building with beautiful light streaming. Uh, I had fun in that little cave. I'm sure you did. <laughs> that was right there, though, that was still pretty cool. Yeah, I but, call it the red room because there was this old sh- red shag carpet in there. Dad did that. Yeah. Um, set up my nine-piece wait, pearl red set red shag in carpet and red walls. Oh, yeah, of course. That's crazy. It like, was dark, man. Dark red, like burgundy walls. I used to just be in there playing music, practicing the guitar. People wanted me to go hang out. I, I usually said no. I went to my room. You still do. Practice. Yeah, you I'd still rather, do. Sure. Uh, do me a favor. Is this still recording? Please. Okay. He says, please, like it's, you know, it's a given. I mean, how many times are you going to go over that? You want to take this over? No, I, I, I come up with the stuff to talk about. Oh, it's so compelling too. <laughs> Let me tell you. Well, I want to know what else, I mean, what else do we take for granted? That central location right there in Hollywood. Breathing. Breathing. The walks that we'll, that we'll all just only have forever in our memories. Strolls with dad and uncle Raj. Yeah. All that stuff. Our practice space at the hotel. I'm just going through a couple of things that we've bicycling, talked about. Bicycling over uh, Mulholland Drive every day to get to my gym. Man, I was jacked. That's sickening. I was jacked at 20, and I felt I felt myself get super strong, man. Did you? Oh, that's oh, yeah. awesome, dude. Seriously. Yep. I um, had an ass for a minute, too. Muscles. You had, a, you had an ass? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's nice to know. My butt. That's, that's what a girl told me. Oh, oh you got a butt now. Oh jeez! Oh, thank you. And then we thanks, all, girl. What about the other stuff we took for granted? Practicing downstairs there, practicing at Mystic, just with like the run of the place, basically Mystic Sound. Just a sense of unlimited possibility. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I just want to give a little recap of where we've been. 
all that. Yeah, where are we going, man? I know. That's that's another question for later down here. Who knows? But all the places. We never t- I think we never talked about the Vagabond Theater. Oh, this little theater downtown that dad used to go to, they used to show old movies. Yeah, and uh, like the 30s and 40s, 50s. Seriously, only in Hollywood. Classic so, stuff, man. Yeah, they could have like Alfred Hitchcock Week or Alfred Hitchcock Month and then Dad especially liked to take us to the MGM musical uh, specials down there. Yeah. I saw a lot of good movies over there. Me too. Some old ass movies. Yeah. The Lady Vanishes. Oh, God. That's right. Did we see that Mrs. there? Mrs. Freud. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what's, what, what's also crazy? No. You say that's crazy a lot. Yeah, really? That must mean something. That's nuts. Of that. And never again will we walk to the Copper Penny with Dad. It's gone, isn't it? And the I think so. And the old spaghetti factory and all. Yeah. Those. Okay. Oh man, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Not really, man. Remember, Dad was involved with that uh, old. Sorry, my voice went. Yeah, high. your voice is all froggy and stuff, <laughs> man. Remember that Dad was involved with that old Masonic temple on Hollywood Boulevard. Doing what? It wasn't a Masonic temple anymore, but in the basement, he put on like talent shows and stuff. Oh, yeah. For a minute. Yep. That was cool, too. You did a, some kind of read over there for some the Priory. Yeah, you I made, had a two-act wrote. play that Dad put together a reading for. I was excited about that. That dude from Fast Times was there. Yeah. Um, the guy that wore the, the scarf and all that. Robert Romanus. That had an unfortunately uh, quick moment yeah. in the movie. <laughs> and then later, I had one of those scarves. Or maybe before oh. he did. I don't oh, remember. Okay, we're in competition. No. Raj just had a handful of water. <laughs> well, excuse me, I have to go get what a handful of water. I have to go get a handful of water. Did you I lap hope it? it helped. Did you lap it or sip it? No, I, I cut That's my, how I choose my warriors. I cut my two hands and brought it to my mouth. Okay, so we're not going Old Testament picking soldiers? No, okay. I would probably not be a good pick. Yeah, probably not. Oh my God, we Doubt had a, it. we had a bunch of freedom, especially when we got our first cars. Oh yeah, that's some crazy stuff. Man. Well, we used to to steal Dad's cars. Yeah, we talked like we already talked about in this this fifty episodes about stealing Dad's Impala and the Caprice and the Caprice and just go. But but the Impala thing, sixty seven Chevy was funny because I don't think we had a license, did we? We had a, a learner's <laughs> permit from Florida. <laughs> and but so let's those go see the, were bad too yeah let's go see the kinks yeah it, it wasn't really that far from from the magic hotel to the amphitheater no just look up the uh, turn left on franklin go up highland and there you are man look, but it, and bob's your uncle ba- is it bar barham something Lancashire. i don't remember but who knows t- universal city it, there's still a risk involved yeah well we didn't care no because we play twister we play risk yeah 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 oh boy but we made it, and we didn't tell him about it until later. We actually told him? I think we told him later, like years later. We were always years. hoping that the spot would be, there would, wouldn't be a car in the spot that, that we took it out from. The Caprice, my dad used to park in front of the hotel and spot to the side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that little spot to the side. Yeah, yeah. Um, what if someone else was in the spot? It's like, oh, dad, they wanted the spot, so I, I moved in the middle of the night. Now, another time dad, dad had this Caprice Classic. Uh, I cut it, I cut the car, the wheel too far to the left, and what, I hit one of those cypress trees or whatever the shit that was in front of the hotel, oh. and I messed up the front quarter panel. So I put it in park and went in and said, Dad, what kind of mood you're, are you in? You did? And he goes, what did you do to the car? Oh, no. But he wasn't that kind of guy who was really bad did about it. Did you get it. it fixed? No. I think it stayed like that. Which which car the the green one or the no, silver the, the and black silver one? and black one? Oh man, you don't remember the dent in the front? Not really. That was me. I've messed up cars before too, man. <laughs> you had this weird wreck in Miami. Yeah, weird wreck. It wasn't my fault. What the? I hell? borrowed Kathy's car and drove from Charlotte to Miami, and I got in a wreck on on uh, Dixie Highway. US one. Isn't that what it is? Yeah, that part of US one is called. Di- Dixie Highway. Oh, is it even called that anymore? Dixie. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but but uh, <laughs> you got you got rear-ended in Miami. Yep. Guitar went flying out the back. My guitar got that I borrowed from a friend of mine got messed up. Matt Ross's guitar got ruined. 
Oh, Hello, my. Prudential. That sucks, man. Yeah, well, then I had to call Kathy and say, I love you, Kathy. I I just destroyed your car. It wasn't my fault. And what'd she say? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, something, shit. Something like that. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. Maybe other words. Yeah, but right, you had that van and I had that old Fiat. Yeah. And we drove everywhere to go to see everyone, at family in Fullerton, and then the trips to Crestline all the time. That van, I used to drive everybody around. I was like the, the dad of the bunch. Yeah, because everyone knew you had that van. Oh, yeah. It was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of cool until people started bugging me. Oh, can you help me move? That's, yeah. I did it a couple times. Then I stopped. Well, I'll bring well, you. Hey, uh, you free. I'll get, get you pizza, get some pizza and beer. You're going to have to up the ante, yeah, man. Yeah, I don't, what the hell do I want pizza and beer for? Now I got to work all day for it. Why don't it? you just pay me? Or well, better just, yet, get somebody else. Get pay somebody. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to move that credenza. Well, that happens when people have trucks and vans. I know it gets old. It, it doesn't happen if you have a little Fiat. No. But they're like, hey man, can you come over and help me load a van? Well, I yeah, I will move you in the van. But there's one Fiat. <laughs> fiat money. I Fiat to come over. I oh. Fiat Fiat. It doesn't fiat my schedule. Yeah, see, Pawnee is, is a sign of a good brain. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what Bill Nye says. Oh, that, well, I would believe him. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a conservative. I believe him. What is he not, what is it, do the conservatives oh, hate him? please, please, oh, my oh, God. Oh, because he's about climate change yeah, and, all. and all that. And they think he's, oh, know, of, of course. course, it's science. They're going to belittle his ass. Yeah, it's science. Oh, fake scientist. Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, I've heard somebody say fake science. He's not. He was. Uh, he's a mechanical engineer or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. He'd be. He'd do well in the uh, HVAC field down here then. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... anyway, no, no, no puns. I mean, it's it's good to be punny. Yeah, that... but it's annoying. Well, I'm sure I annoy the shit out of you all the time. Me, I'm punny too, man. I know, but then together we're like <laughs> corny. It's corn. <laughs> corny. <laughs> it's corn, man. You're addicted to corn. I was speaking to a lady I did a story on, and I uh, emailed her. Speaking of corny. Yes, yes, she said, she emailed me and she said, this might be corny, but roger that. Oh, she said that? Yeah. I didn't mean your thing was corny. The, no, but then I emailed her back and said, corny is my middle name. Oh, glad she didn't say roger me. Oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know what that means, don't hey, you? Uh, Chris, my name's Roger. You don't think I know that? <laughs> How'd you like to go around with that? Oh, my gosh. Roger. Stop it. Roger. Roger Healy. So it gives Roger. Roger. You always wanted to to, 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 uh, to poke the genie. Uh, Roger Ramjet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey man, Barbara Eden though, man, come and on, like, dude. What is she ninety? Yeah, she's still beautiful, man. I'm, I'm sure she is, man. Yeah. I'm sure. She's got a picture upstairs in the attic. <laughs> Getting old. <laughs> oh, she's she's the oh man. Ooh, never mind. No, no I like not much I, needs to be said about Barbara Eden, man. I liked her a lot. Oh yes. Oh my God. The march well, it doesn't hurt about you know the. The genie bit. The march of time. Subservient. <laughs> That's oh my god. Uh, compliant. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. Major Major Nelson thought she was master. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. He thought she was. Yes, master. Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, but you don't want to get on her bad side, man. No. So you, you remember being blinked into like Siberia or something? Yeah. All Gina, oh. Well, I'd. Ra- I mean, don't get on her bad side or Agnes Moorhead. That's a hell of a last name. <laughs> what if what oh what if what if she had a son named Roger Moorhead? <laughs> and then it, then he didn't put a capital R and put a small R every time. <laughs> what kind of middle name would you have for that? <laughs> oh my god, please let's see. <laughs> let's see. We have to be we have to come up with it now or just change Roger, the subject. I don't know. Oh boy. Just just stew on it for a minute, man. <laughs> Roger Richard Moorhead. <laughs> no. No, it could have it has to be better than that, but yeah. oh my god, we're not firing on all cylinders right now. I'm sorry about that. Well, that'll give someone people something to think about. Roger Moorhead. Yes, perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Tallulah Bankhead. <laughs> that was a trip. 
Uh, she was a trip. We knew a guy that actually banged her. Yeah, that's right. Frank Iwanski. He yeah. was what was he a, a stage a, uh, like, like a master carpenter yeah. on, on in theater. He was a he was a he was a tough old guy. Yeah. He used to take us backstage to a few shows. Yeah, like Irene in oh, yeah. like 1974. Hans Conried. Yeah. We talked about this. Ruth that, Warwick, yeah. Yeah, but that's it's worth talking about. Patsy Kelly. Yeah, Ruth Warwick. I re- just remembered her from All My Children. Yeah, that's, yeah of course. Um, but those are old school, man. When they when they put the tribute for Ruth Warwick after she passed away on All My Children. Yeah, did she? They played like I'll See You Again. Mm-hmm. The Noel Coward song. That was nice. Oh, that's I'll nice, isn't see it? See you again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, anyway, yeah. But that was funny. I mean, we man, we knew some old school guys, man. Just, we were we were just around on the cusp of them still being around. Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. That's, that's we met all kinds of old old codgers like that. A lot of old magicians, old comedians. magicians, old old. Crew, I mean, I met a lot of crew people. Yeah, uh, Quentin Crisp. Yeah. Oh yeah, Quentin Chris, or even orchestra guys, like band guys for the shows. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's uh, it was a Quentin good... Crisp. Oh mm-hmm. yes. How about when the Escovito people were in that same room after he checked out? I don't know who the Escovito. A guy named people. Coke Escovito. What was he like? He was related to Sheila E. Oh no, kidding. Yeah. It would be crazy if they li- like just shared a room with Quentin Crisp. That no, it would be weird. They were up there doing drugs all the time. How do you It was you always know? dark in there because they I don't know, I'd go up there for something. I don't know why. Did you What was his first uh, name? Coke. Coke? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's a that's a that's a convenient nickname. Yeah, that's interesting. Man, it was dark and you know people were sitting around in there. But Quentin what, Crisp, what do you think they were doing? Quentin Crisp was nowhere to be seen. Well, Quentin, Quentin Crisp used to lie on that very same couch like with a dressing gown on. Yes. Yeah. And we went to go see him in The Naked Civil Servant. He, he they screened the, his movie The Naked Civil Servant yeah. with um God, who was it? John Hurt, man. Yeah. And then Quentin Crisp did a lecture about That was cool. And we had to it was like through this antique shop or something. Yeah, Westwood we had Playhouse. To walk through and in. It was weird. Yeah. That was wasn't it the Westwood Playhouse? Yeah. And he'd answer the phone like this when if we ever got, had to call this room for any Oh yes. That's how he was in the movie. That's how John Hurt was in the movie too. He was nice, uh, man. His you know what his um lecture he didn't look was? well. What? Because he had, like, how could you tell behind all that pancake makeup? That's what it was. He looked a little pasty. Um, He um, he had, like, purple hair. Yeah. Purple blue gray. hair. Blue old lady hair. Yeah, blue hair. Uh, But his thing was, I'm sure, I, I seem to remember about, you've got to have a lifestyle. Oh, really? That, that was his uh, lecture that night at the Westwood Playhouse. Oh, boy. I mean, he invented, he was his, his own best invention. Well, I guess David Bowie took him up on that, huh? I, guess, I suppose so. Oh, you think yes. he ever met David Bowie? I wouldn't be surprised, would you? No, same circles. Yeah. Circle. <laughs> Bigger circles. Your eyes make a circle. Oh, God. <laughs> you are, you, going there. Are, you, are you being Oliver Reed and Tommy singing you two, see, no, see, I will follow? <laughs> you're a, because when, when when Bono said circle, it sounded it, it sounded Circo. Central London circle. But he is nothing. There's nothing English about that guy. No, no way, man. No, no, of course not. By the way, how's your daughter doing in Ireland? She's having the time of her life. Is she? she? Yeah, she's going to England uh, next week. Really? Uh, she likes it over there. She's been over to Ireland twice now. She loves it, man. I'm oh. glad she's. I'm glad she's enjoying herself yeah, over what, there. What's really going on? She loves it. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Let me see. She's going to London on the 22nd. Okay, what's she going to do there? Go to London. Like that's we always did. fun. She's having a big time. That's good, man. I love her and miss her. She's great, man. Hey, man. If you could, if you could do something different, if you knew it now. What would you have done differently then? When? Like now in your whole existence. Cancel this session. <laughs> That's okay. You're probably going to lose it anyway. Uh, I don't know. I don't think, I don't like to think like that, man. Well, it, it, it's it's useless. Well, I would have avoided drugs and alcohol. I would have applied myself. Yeah. I worked harder on our dreams. I wouldn't have given up drugs and alcohol. Uh, and I would have been a, less afraid. I'd probably assertive. be dead by now. If, <laughs> if you made a fortune. I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows, man? I mean, I don't like thinking like that. 
Well, we're just looking forward or just Are we? That was just now. looking backwards. Just being in the now. Backward. But, Are you backward? Huh? You backward? I don't know what that means. You know exactly what it means. I, I don't think I'm any more backward than you are. <laughs> Plus, you're left-handed. I'm backward. You are? I'm awkward. Like, if you if you wore some sort of... Oh, you can wear a, you can wear a COVID mask on the back of your head. Yeah. And people ask you what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You tell them you're backward masking. Oh, my... Oh, I know. Oh, I just made that shit that's up. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You have to Oh, admit. no, no. I'm going to do that on Monday. Backward masking. Tomorrow. Mask. I'm backward masking. What's that mask doing on the back of your... Good one, man. I'm, I'm ba- taking that. I love that. I should have been a comedian. <laughs> I'm going to put your name tag on and do it. I'm backward masking. There's this guy, Roger, he was backward masking. Oh, I love that shit. That that, Paul, Paul. that, that deserves a blog post. No, but then you got to write on the in little le- letters, Paul is dead. Or or like uh, Suicide Solution yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Or Led Zeppelin, masking. whatever. Backward masking. Ooh, Call yeah. Tipper Gore. Uh. E. Well, these guys couldn't understand rock and roll going in the right direction, much less back. You know, they have nothing else to do but. Oh, let's listen to this backwards. Oh, oh please, please, stoners. Dear. What? 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 <laughs> no, I'm talking about the the. I'm the, talking about the PMRC. What is that? That's Tipper Gore's bullshit. Oh, is that what it was? No, PMRC. but the sto- who made up listening to stuff backwards? The stoners? I probably, of course. Let's hide something in their backwards. The same people that came up with, if you listen to the whole Pink so, Flo- so Floyd you the probably, Wall so and they, watch The Wizard of Oz at the same time, it got, goes together. Yeah, exactly. So so they must have heard something backwards. Mm-hmm. Really? What's that? Really? It sounds like something backwards. Let's play it That's forward. Saying. Yeah, it, the same, some kind of whispered word. And you know what it is when you get turn it around? You stupid shit. Yeah, but I bet you... You have enough time on your hands to do this? I bet you there's some of that in records that people put on there just for fun. Oh, for sure, man. You put it backwards in real time is part of the mix, and then you play it backwards, it says something. You found it. That's what... Obviously. That's funny. I was reading an article... Well, thanks for describing it, man. We didn't know what backward masking was. It is. Watch when you put a mask in the back of your head. (laughs) Backward masking. That's pretty funny, man. Oh man, I just can't believe we got all, we've done fifty. I want to do five hundred and fifty of these. Okay, when we hit that, we're done. No. Well, then stop giving numbers about that's that's. I'm going to do twelve hundred and seventy eight of these. You're thinking about the things we've done and the things we're going to do. What about what we're doing right now, man? I love it. I mean, shave before grave. I need to take a shower and a, maybe not a shave. No, that's interesting. I look a mess. I look like the wreck of the Hesperus. <laughs> That's dead. I don't even know what the Hesperus was. Probably a ship that wasn't doing too well, too well. The ship of uh, Theseus. But I'm tired. I said, but I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. That don't concern me as long as I have my rent by next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, my old lady, she kind of funny. Yeah, when she came to the door, when he came back, I knew it was no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he said, my old lady, she's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. You funny now. No, yeah, I know. You now funny. You funny. Every, no, everybody <laughs> funny now. You funny too. That's a great song. I love that song. Oh yeah, yeah. Beautiful man. He was real young when he did it too. Yeah, that's funny. I don't think he drinks anymore. I hope. Uh, I don't care if he does or not. <laughs> I was going to say I hope not, but didn't yeah. he smoke cigars, George Thorogood? I'm not sure. I was never a huge fan of that guy. Uh, me either. I was fucked up at a George Thorogood show and walked out. It was terrible. I think it was more me. Where, what, what, was Pal- it in 1985? It was at the Palladium. Man, I almost went to that show. I'm I glad think, I didn't. I think it was later than that. Oh, well, I, I had an opportunity to go Yeah, when I lived in Glendale. I didn't yeah. want to go. <laughs> it's like mobilizing and going. What just, I wasn't, I'd mobilize and go for something compelling. To me, yeah. that wasn't. Well, I'm sorry. I don't really like his guitar tone. <laughs> I don't have to have, endure that for the whole show. Your tone. Your I mean, tone good guitar player, wrong. but no, I don't like it, the tone of the guitar. It's a little bit. Uh, I said, but I'm tired. It's not soft. It's not hard. It's just, it sounds like it's on. The pickup's not a, I don't know. Why don't you just email him about it? It sounds like it's, it should have, should have be a little more cut. I don't know. I don't fuller. Know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure he loses sleep worrying about what you think. Uh, about maybe it's just a so. hollow body. Hollow body bluesy sound. It is a hollow body electric, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. And how'd you know? I, 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 I thought it was. Yeah. No. I, I, yeah, I could see it in my mind's eye. <laughs> my mind's eye, man. Does your mind? Does your mind's eye have dry eyes? Sometimes. <laughs> Red eyes. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> my mind's eye. I don't think your mind minds if it's got dry eyes. No, man. Do you mind? No, I don't. Good, I knew that. Uh, Anyway, congratulations. On what? On this. Oh, I thought you meant getting to see Miles, my grandson. Oh, he's, yeah. Did you? How was that? Great, he's awesome. I let him play around in the car. Oh, no, here it starts. Yeah, yeah. I taught him how, we taught, me and my my older grandson, my main man, Elijah, we taught him how to honk the horn. He had to put his, it's hard, harder than pressing buttons. He thought he just had to touch. I said, man, no, you got to push it. Yeah, that's a mistake. And he, he meh, meh, cracking up. Now, meh, whenever meh. he's in the car, he'll want to honk the horn. Yeah. He won't forget. I'm sure the neighbors loved it. Yeah. But I didn't give a shit. He hanked, hank the horn. He hanked it? Hank the horn. That's what Pascal used to say when you come by, hank the horn. Huh? Yeah. What? Okay. He's the same guy that called a Whopper Jr. a Hooper Jr. Yeah. That's funny when you're in high school, they, they, they started calling, they started saying Hooper Jr. all his friends. He was, he, he learned, a, he came whooper, from France. A Whooper Jr. And he came from France and learned by watching TV, English. Yeah, that's immersion. So he spoke three languages, man. Yeah, so that's great. What do they call Armenian language? Uh, Armenian? I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to find out. So that, French, and uh, and English, and yeah. uh, all that good stuff. He was great. I miss him. Too bad he got shot to death. Yeah, he had a punk mentality, though, about stuff, I think. I loved it. Yeah. Imagine okay. How about what I regret is 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 splitting up that band, as a as a as a uh, either a trio or with Kabashigawa on bass. Yeah, that could have that was fun. That was fun, dude. It was. I wanted to get out from behind the drums, and then we eh, it all went to. <sighs> can't trust people to drum. Remember that photo shoot on the roof. I mean, uh, there's some people you could, but back in the day, no. Remember that photo shoot on the roof and our little. Yeah, I outfits. have those pictures. I'd love to have one and put it yeah. up. That's cool. Well, it's been a distinct honor speaking well, with I'm you. I'm not talking about Jim or any of our friends. I'm talking about other drummers. Yes, I know you. Different drum. A different drummer. Desiderata. <laughs> oh, my God. Fiestata. Magna Carta. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'm drinking some coffee Magna here. you got to forgive me. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. man. Well, happy Sunday, bro. Oh, yeah. Same to you, man. Now I'm going to do some... Uh, I got to wash the car. It's a disaster. Uh, listen, I, I'm I, sorry to hear that, but I, thank you for put it, finding Be My Star and put it on there. That was a pretty nice little song. Yep. Thank you. Do you have any more of mine in, in your arc? Not many, man. Maybe one. I don't didn't have many to begin with. One more next week. Be okay. my... Uh, you got something? I Okay. okay. Do you have something? I have something right here, man. I don't want to look. And it's in the shape of a middle finger. Oh, See? that's okay. No, that's all right. See? All right, well, this was uh, episode 50. What a what a, what a a jubilee it was, Ooh, man. It was a little a gold, retrospective. Golden jubilee. <laughs> we used to, I, thought, I thought when we were little, we called jubilees boogers. Somebody did. Somebody called them jubilees. That's such an old, well, some old person probably. find a jubilee. Really? Can I have a cherry jubilee? Ew, cherry is jubilee. That means like a cherry sauce that's boogery. What if you're snorting meth that's 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 cherry flavored? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cherry jubilee? Cherry jubilee. <laughs> that's disgusting. There's a guy hanging around the schoolyard selling flavored meth. Where? <laughs> where, where, where is he? Come on, oh my God. Where is he? Hey, hey, buddy, come over here. Leave those kids alone. Oh. Anyway. How much you got left? <laughs> you sick bastard uh, I'm kidding man uh-huh. yeah but right. I'm tired I said but I'm tired yeah alright well I'm gonna go now alright go and add the barbarian <laughs> <laughs> yeah alright so uh, happy 50th uh, 50th episode yes yeah, same to you and uh, we'll keep it rolling as yeah. long as it stays fun no no even if it stays not fun <laughs> okay, well, we're the Yale Brothers. Uh, you can reach us at yalebrothers at gmail.com if yes. you would like to say anything to us. Yes. 
And if you wouldn't mind leaving some kind of review for us on Apple Podcasts, that would be awesome, kind, man. Some kind of We review. don't care what you say. All right. Well, that's really nice of you, Chris. But it's, it's very nice of you to say whatever you feel, man. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm Long-winded gonna... twins. Okay, it's not, we're not really that long-winded. How could they be that long-winded for a, for a 30-minute episode? Yeah, that's the goal. Okay, well, Raj made up all these numbers. Yeah, I can't believe it. I, I overthink. But anyway, it's I nice think I'm gonna to go see watch, you. you too. I'm going to go watch Star 80. Okay, you have fun. No, I'm not going to. All right, man. All right, take care now. Uh, and uh, one thing left for that sums this whole thing up. Rock and roll.